What's going on guys, it is Alex here, playing some solo Minecraft. I haven't recorded a solo Minecraft video in forever, but you guys should have a solo Minecraft video come out pretty recently. Uh, I just took a big break to do prisons, and yeah. Anyways, uh, last episode we got mending on some of our tools and our armor. And in this episode... Uh, I want to start doing something that's going to be really big for, like, the whole series. I need to go grab all my iron out of my smelter, because there should be a couple stacks in there. Along with, I just put some raw iron in, so we're going to be getting quite a bit of iron. Yeah, there's a lot of iron in there. And all we're going to do with this is just turn it into blocks for now. Um... We are going to need to start making an iron farm. Uh, probably with iron golems, because I think that's the only way to do it. But I'll find one off camera, and probably build it off camera too, just because, I don't know, I feel like that's normally easier. But we have some books. Let's trade those. There we go. And we do have emeralds in the house. I just don't really want to bring them out here. I think I figured out what was wrong with my raids, by the way. I think it's because I don't have enough villagers for a higher level raid, which I can fix. I can put villagers in the top, but yeah, I just don't have enough villagers at this moment, which is okay. I can definitely fix that, though. Um, I haven't done any AFKing either, which is fine, I guess. It's just, it's just annoying because that means I don't have a lot of levels. But that's okay, because there's nothing we really need to enchant right now. However, one thing I do really want to do in this episode specifically is grab all my gunpowder and my TNT. Um, we're going to need a flint and steel for this, too. Um, actually, I need to go grab sand first, because it's the most important part of this. So let me just dump my inventory into different chests because, you know, I don't want to be carrying around all my loot. Why is there granite in two spots? That just freed up a spot, and I can go dump my raw gold into here. I also have an ender pearl, which is also a very valuable item. So we're going to put that in there. We have three ender pearls right now. I want to get at least, like, 20 before I start looking for an end portal because that would be good because I don't know I just like being safe and I feel like having 20 ender pearls is about as close as you can get with going to the end like about as safe as you can get going to the end so yeah we're just gonna get a bunch of sand um, both for TNT and just because you know it's good to have sand especially with a cartographer and having all the ways to get emeralds that we do because there is a specific reason I'm going to be going to the nether uh, in this episode. I'm going to be getting netherite um, so I can start on netherite gear and uh, swords and armor and everything because netherite is just very useful. But I'm going to get geared up for the nether and I'll see you guys when I'm ready. Alright, so we are fully geared to go into the nether now, and that's what we're doing. So, we have torches, which is going to be really important. We're going to dig down to Y level 15 here. I want to be careful, because I think there might be a lava lake under this. Which is why I'm digging ahead of me. But I just checked the Minecraft wiki, and Y level 15 is the best for getting netherite. So that's what I'm going to dig to. Which is okay. Um, yeah, so this is a pretty big uh, dig down, actually. Like, I knew it'd be a lot of distance, but I didn't think it'd be this bit, like this much distance, dude. We're going to need another rack to fill in holes. And 
and I could have done this with beds. That actually might be what I do later on, but um, right now we have TNT, so why not use TNT? Um, I need to be able to dig down here. Okay then, we're gonna dig down. Damn, dude, this this guy's vert's insane. Let me actually hit him. Dude's vert is crazy. Like, it's nasty, dude. Magma cubes can jump unnecessarily high, bro. We're gonna have to block off the sides of this. But that's okay. That's what we're gonna do. We're gonna block off the sides of this. Um, so we can actually make this more of a safe way down. Because I don't want to have to deal with mobs every time I try to come netherite mining. And I really don't want to be netherite mining in peaceful because I'm not a wimp. But. Okay, let's just kill all these magmas, dude. They're annoying me at this point. Just kill them all. It's not even like we need magma cream. I just don't want to deal with it anymore. Okay, is that lava just bugged? Oh, it's probably bugged because of the mushroom, isn't it? Yeah. So there we go. We're dug down to here. Okay, so this is high enough that we should be okay. There we go, okay, so now we have a way down. There we go, we blocked that off so they can't get up. There, okay, now we're blocked off so I can actually keep digging down, which is good. I swear to god, there's gonna be another drop and I'm gonna be so mad because I don't wanna deal with another drop. Place that, place that. Yep, yeah, and of course there's a lava pool here. And I can't even block it off. Because, I don't know why, I just can't block it off. That's fine, I can make this work, I guess. Actually, no, I don't think I can, because I think nether, netherite only spawns under Y level 22, doesn't it? So I need sand or gravel to do this. Okay, I'll be back. Okay, so I have just gotten down to Y level 15. Um, it took a lot of sand, and I'm gonna have to build back up to there. Uh, and bring down ladders next time, but we are at Y level 15, which is good. So we're gonna dig in a straight line for a bit, and then throw down some TNT. I don't really care how much, but then we need blocks. This can go off. There we go. Okay. Well, we're just gonna head down here and grab as much debris as we can find. 
because, you know, we need ancient debris for actually, like, everything, because ancient debris makes the entire game easier. Getting it's really annoying, so I guess that's what balances it, but it's broken. That's fully covered up? Okay. That's good. I like, the, I like the look of sideways basalt. It's really cool, in my opinion. There we go, that's covered up too. Okay, well, we need to try to find all the ancient debris in here, because I'm guessing there's at least one more piece. Somewhere on this, there's gotta be one more piece. There we go, okay. And there's bedrock at the bottom of this, which means we're actually really low. Which is good in my opinion, because it means we can actually be getting a lot of ancient debris. Which is good. We gotta let all this lava die down. There's extra lava pockets here. That one. This one. This is also really good because that means I can get a bunch of gravel and it's going to help me actually deal with lava and water pools. Which is good. Because I can deal with them with sand, but I don't like using sand because I can use sand for better things. Like getting emeralds for mending. But okay, so we need to light this bridge up because if I don't, we might die and I don't want to die. So we're gonna light the bridge up. Um, the question is, do I bring down beds next or do I try to go get more gunpowder? Well, right now I think gunpowder is gonna be a little bit harder to get, so I'm just gonna come down with beds because I should have a bunch of wool in my house. That's the joy of living in a plains, is sheeps pull up to my house all the time. You can also netherite mine like this. I've done it, and it's it, it can work. It's a lot rarer, but it can work, I guess. So, let's see if we can get one down the middle. Down the middle of here, and see if there's any ancient debris that we like just barely missed with our TNT. No, some quartz, which is also good for XP. So it's going to heal our pickaxe up. Just a bit. Because we have been digging a lot, actually. This also means we have just a strip that we can go to for netherite mining. If I want to place TNT or beds or something, I can just run them down this strip. Which is really long. So I have to jump all the way back. Absolutely spam my keyboard. Now we can just normal jump. But now we need to run all the way up here. And we're going to do this with like an arbitrary block. Like we're going to do it with a nether rack. So that I know that is the block I need to break to go down. And I'm going to have to bring back some, um, some ladders next time I come back. Uh, just to deal with that. Because I can't do any water elevator or anything. I have to do ladders. Which kind of sucks, because I like water elevators and stuff. I think they're really useful. But yeah, let's hope there's no gas up here this time, because that'd be really annoying. Dude, magma cubes. Why? It's even worse, because they just, like, hit you around. It's because there's a bunch of them, right? It's like, it's the question of would you rather deal with 
a hundred horse-sized chickens or one chicken-sized horse or the opposite of that would you rather have to kill a hundred uh, chicken-sized horses or one horse-sized chicken and I will always pick the chicken-sized horses because I can just kick them so yeah well I think this is a pretty good place to leave off this episode actually um, we got some ancient debris and a bunch of iron so yeah i'll see you guys in the next episode peace